Today I'm going to show you four ways to speed up your playback in DaVinci Resolve. So let's get right into it. The first way is going to be to change your timeline resolution from 4K over to 1080p. Most people still think that this is nonsense because it will change the final result, but DaVinci is actually smart about it and it won't affect it in any way. You need to do this before you create your actual timeline and start adding media to it. So when creating a new timeline in the media pool, you can just right click on it, go to timelines, create new timeline, and now uncheck use project settings. Go to format and now instead of the usual 4K that most people have in here, you want to change it to the regular 1080p. And now you want to hit create and your new timeline is going to be a 1080p timeline instead of a 4K one. If you want this to happen automatically, you just have to go down here into your project settings and now set this to 1080p like we have right here. Go to these three dots and click on set current settings as default preset. Click on that, just update it and now hit save and now you're done. Every time you just add your footage onto your timeline, it is automatically going to create a default timeline with a 1080p resolution. So when you're done with your project, you added everything that you wanted. And now when it comes to the time to export, you want to go to your delivery page. And the only thing that you really have to change here is just going into resolution and setting this from 1080p over to 4k again. DaVinci is basically going to use all of the 4k files that you have available in this final render. And also if you have any 1080p files in that project, it's going to ask you if you want to upscale them over to 4K. And most of the time, this is a pretty good idea. Now, the second way to speed up your playback is actually pretty simple. And I use it in every single one of my projects because I'm working a lot with animations. And if you're like me and you also use a ton of motion blur, then this is going to be really useful. Basically, you want to head up here into playback, go to render cache and set this to smart. This little red line over here is going to appear above everything that can be rendered ahead of time. That means DaVinci is basically going to render the footage as it is currently and then just play you back the completely smooth version. So to quickly show you a difference between it being unloaded and loaded, let's quickly just add some motion blur and let's pump up the quality to the max. Now let's move the text a bit. And now when I play it, you can see that my playback over here is tremendously bad. But if I give it just a few seconds, this highly depends on how complicated your actual effect is, then it will play back smooth as honey. So the first part of the animation has loaded now and I have also decreased the quality of the motion blur a bit because 10 was way too much for my PC and it was just struggling with it. So you can see that this bar is now blue and that means it is rendered ahead of time. So when I now play it, you can see that it's incredibly smooth. But one important thing here, you wanna head over to your playback. This render cache can stack up to hundreds upon hundreds of gigabytes over just a few weeks, especially if you're dealing with lots of fusion effects. So just make sure once in a while, about every week or every two weeks, you go down here into delete render cache and just hit all over here. Way number three is gonna be especially useful when you're dealing with high resolution footage. This means 4K, 8K, or even screen recordings can be very high resolution. It's called proxy media. And before you actually create it, we want to make sure it's in the right format. So go back to your project settings down here, scroll down a bit, and you will see optimize media and render cache. Now, the only thing that you need to pay attention to is proxy media format. And if you're on Mac, set this to ProRes 42 proxy. And if you're on Windows, set this to DNXR LB. And also if you have a super slow machine, then you can play around with the proxy media resolution. But I found out that choose automatically works like 99% of the time. And the only thing left here is to right click on any of your footage and go down here into generate proxy media. Now, the thing that this actually does is take your file, your 4K full resolution footage and just downscale it into 1080p, for example. And you may be able to see a difference right away, but most of the time you won't see a difference. It just will lag a lot less. And by the way, if you think it isn't showing up, just make sure over here you have set it to prefer proxies. You can also find the settings in playback and proxy handling and set this to prefer proxies. The way to make sure that all of your files have actually their proxies enabled is by this little icon showing over here and also on the timeline right here. And finally, way number four, the last one that I left over here is the one that I don't use as often. And it's just over here into playback and now timeline proxy resolution. This 
basically downscales your timeline in real time. That means everything that's on your timeline is basically gonna be halved in resolution or quartered in resolution. This is going to be useful if you're really struggling with some sort of footage or if you're using like really high resolution footage. That means if you're using 8K footage, half of that is basically 4K, which most modern machines can play back with no trouble. But other than that, I would just use the first three ways that I gave you today on pretty much every single one of my projects and save this last one if you're system is really struggling with some sort of extra high definition footage. Oh, and by the way, all of these don't affect your actual final result. They all just affect your timeline. That means everything you do on the timeline is going to be in pretty low resolution, but then your final product is going to be totally in the full scale that your footage has enabled it to be. So hopefully this video helped you and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.